Welcome to my channel. I have another exciting collab video. I've been so excited for everything that's been coming out lately and I got a hold of the Zoella and Colourpop collaboration. I think this looks so freaking cute and I wanted to run over everything and my thoughts on it all trying it on swatching it so if you're interested in this video please keep watching if you're new to my channel my name is london i do post new videos every monday wednesday and friday so please subscribe to get more videos like this one now getting into this everything is so cute now i'm also going to link my last video where i did a kind of review a try on of the elf and jay kissa collab i've been so so obsessed with that one so i'm really hoping that this one is going to be just as exciting for me so i'm just going to take out a couple things and run through them so the first three things are the lip bundles and if you were to buy these by themselves they're eleven dollars and fifty cents but they each come with an ultra matte lipstick and a lippy pencil and the packaging is so freaking cute it's like a little like milk carton and just ah uh, why is it so cute and also when i was watching zoella's video on this she kept mentioning how everything had the little egg heart design in there so i'll get into the swatches in a little bit i just want to go over everything in the collection there is also a supernova shadow bundle this one is 14 dollars, and it comes with two different supernova shadows this one is in like a little orange juice container oh my goodness it's so cute the next two things is the cream gel eyeliners and these are five dollars each it has two different colors and they have like little strawberry hearts all over them next up there is a pressed powder highlighter this is in the shade swipe right and it is eight dollars there's also a blush in the shade soulmate that is also eight dollars the prized piece of this collection the brunch date press powder eyeshadow palette i'm super excited about this this one is 18 dollars if you were to buy it by itself and the last part of this little kit is the makeup bag which if you wanted just the bag it is ten dollars but it just has <laughs> brunch date on it but this is actually a pretty decent sized bag that it fits all of that with the boxes in it and it also came with a sheet of stickers look at how cute they are i don't really know where i'm gonna put these but i think they're so adorable now this whole kit was 89 dollars, and i went through and added up everything like if you were to buy like the little bundles as well it would be 102 dollars. so i do think that getting the bundle is a little bit of a better deal and before i filmed this video everything was still in stock so let me get in to the supernova liquid eyeshadows they do look pretty similar but zoella is a little bit more of a neutral person and when i was watching her video of like explaining everything she said one is more for nighttime for her which is a little bit more of a true deeper rose gold and then the other one is more like a champagne rose for more daytime so they do look pretty similar but i wanted to swatch them for you guys I don't think you can buy them individually. The first one I'm going to swatch is Bellany, and then the other one is OG, which has a little bit more glitter in it. So you can definitely see the difference when it's on my hand. So this is OG and this is Bellany. OG is a little bit more sheer with like glitter bits in it, while this one is more like a metallic. The eyeliners, so there's two different eyeliners in this collection. They both come in this super cute, like sherbet colored packaging. So this one is in the shade Sincerely Yours. And one of them is a brown with gold glitter. You can't really see 
she said there was more gold glitter in here but it looks more like a chocolate brown eyeliner to me next one is xoxo same packaging which is kind of annoying but at least you know one's a brown and one's a black it's not like there's a drastic difference oh for some reason this one is a lot creamier i've also never tried the gel liners from ColourPop, so this is fun i do see a little bit more of the glitter in the black liner than i do in the brown so let me know what you guys think now i'm going to get into the lip bundle so first i'm going to take the lip bundle with the self love club in the ultra matte lip and the bossy lip pencil i believe this is the red one yes i haven't really tried a lot from ColourPop, which is why i was a bit more excited about this collection than some other people i know some people were a little disappointed by this collection so here is self love club and the bossy lip pencil i think they're pretty close to each other they work pretty well the next lip bundle is little one ultra matte lip and little one lippy pencil which is nudes so here is the little one's ultra matte lip and lip liner i am noticing that the lip liner is just a teensy bit lighter than the ultra matte lip so the next lip bundle is at me and oh snap so at me is the ultra matte lip and oh snap is the lip pencil and this is a little bit more of a mauve nude so the last one is at me for the ultra matte lip and oh snap for the lippy pencil so here are all of them together like i did notice i feel like this one is the only one that has a little bit of a darker lip pencil with the actual ultra matte lip so this is all of the bundles next up is the blush in the shade soulmate look at the packaging i'm never gonna want to throw this away look at how cute pop this open there is a mirror in the blush is what the blush looks like just gonna swatch it over here okay it has a little bit of a glow to it i'm just gonna build it up a little bit more than i would on my face there is what the blush looks like right there i think this is a really good blush with all of these different colors next is the pressed highlighter in swipe right which she said has a very light iridescent duochrome of like a goldish peach i'm not sure if you guys are gonna pick up on this but it's right over here hopefully you can see now pretty much all of the supernova shadows and the liquid lips are dried down so you can see that as well now let's get into swatching the brunch date eyeshadow palette oh my goodness that's so cute and the names are all on the back there oh my gosh i can't get enough of this this is so cute and this is what the inside of the palette looks like and there is a nice mirror in there as well and i did notice that a lot of people were kind of disappointed with the shade names and the colors for instance, Mimosa is more like a basic brown shade and a lot of people are wanting more of like an orangey color. But if you look at Zoella and all of her eyeshadow looks, an orange isn't really a color that she would actually wear. So I kind of understand where like this eyeshadow is for her i would like to see an eyeshadow palette that was like actually breakfast themed with the colors but with a collaboration this is like her perfect everyday eyeshadow palette so i respect that um and i'm not going to be judging it on that aspect of it so let me get into the swatches i'm first going to be swatching the mimosa shadow cinnamon sugar 
That one's pretty. Guinea latte. Oh, that one's really pretty. French toast. So this is the whole top row of the eyeshadow palette. So mimosa, cinnamon sugar, skinny latte, French toast, pancake, please, pancakes please, and then champagne toast. These are so freaking stunning. I'm gonna start off with maple syrup this time. So this is the bottom row. There is Maple Syrup, Sunday Funday, Sunny Side Up, Americano, Brunch Club, which I had a little bit difficulty swatching, and then Extra Slice. So these are all of the swatches of the Brunch Date eyeshadow palette. I think this is super pinky and very easy to wear. But I'm excited to get into this. I first want to highlight and blush my face. So I think I'm going to go ahead and blush first. I'm going to take the blush, the shade Soulmate, with my Morphe E4 brush. That is so much more pigmented on your face than a swatch. Okay. I am blushed now. <laughs> this is a really pinky blush, I will say that. I don't really wear a lot of blushes like this, but I think this ties really well with all of the pinky tones in the eyeshadow palette. I like the glow that it gives your skin though. And now I'm gonna use the highlighter in Swipe Right with my favorite highlighting brush. Oh yeah, this is a lot more pink on my face than it was in the swatch. And it's a little powdery. I'm not really sure why. I don't really use a lot of ColourPop, so I'm not used to their formula. I kind of like a pinky highlight though, because normally I'll put a little blush around my face, and this kind of highlights and blushes at the same time. So next, I think I'm going to take the black eyeliner in my tight line, and then I'm going to use the brown eyeliner on my lid. I don't remember which one is which. Okay, this one is the black one in the shade XOXO. And if you want to learn how to tight line, I'm going to link my friend Sarah's video down in the description and also in the cards. So now let's get into this palette. Not really sure what to do yet. So I'm first going to take maple syrup, which is the shade down at the bottom here. Well, let me zoom you guys in. I'm going to put this just up in my crease here. I'm going to use this more as a transition shade. I blend it out pretty fast. Now, with the same brush, I'm going to take Americano, which is the shade down there. And I'm just going to go right pretty much over top of that. This is a pretty mess-free palette, in my opinion. Like, I feel like I'm going to be really sloppy with it, and it blends really easily. I think I want to take a little bit of the Brunch Club and put it on my eyelids. I didn't really swatch as well as I wanted it to. Oh, no. It applies a whole lot better than it swatches. I think I just want to leave it in the center of the lid. This blue shade blends out pretty well. Like as I'm blending the sides, I'm finding it pretty easy to diffuse the edges of it. All right, I'm going to take pancakes please and I'm going to put this on my inner corner. I actually really like how it's almost like a different color over the blue shade. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and the shade French Toast right there. And I'm gonna run this under my lash line and kind of wing it out a little bit. I want a little bit of a guideline for that pencil. And then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and the shade Champagne Toast. And I'm gonna highlight my inner corner with that. Ooh, wow, that is bright. I'm gonna go back in with that pencil brush and I'm gonna take the shade Mimosa over here and go on the inner part of my lower lash line. All right, now I'm gonna take the 
other eyeliner in the shade Sincerus Sincerus Sincer Sincerously yours and I'm just gonna go over my outer corner here kind of lightly wing it out and stop right around where that blue is before this dries I'm gonna take a or an angled brush and the shade extra slice and I'm just gonna go right over the liner there. All right, I'm gonna take Americano on a smaller blending brush and I'm gonna go back over that outer V and also blend out the top of that blue a little bit more. I'm gonna take maple syrup so i think i've used pretty much every shade in this palette but these two and these two shimmer shades so i'm gonna go ahead and put this palette to the side and i want to play a little bit more with the supernova shadows so i'm gonna take first bellany which is more of that metallic one that we saw earlier. I'm gonna take it on a brush and I'm gonna put this right, oh, I'm gonna need a mirror. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't think I'm liking it with this blue shade, but I think by itself it looks really pretty. With this blue shade, it's kind of throwing me off with it. I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller eyeshadow brush and that other supernova shadow the one with a little bit more glitter in it i'm gonna put this in my inner corner oh yeah that one's really pretty i like this one a million times better what look at how metallic that is so now that we've been playing with all of these i kind of want to go over the blue with the sunday fun day shade which is this one i think i want to take it with my finger oh yeah that is really pretty it's a lot of texture on the eyelid but it's very metallic i feel like that blue gives this uh sunday fun day shade a little bit more of like a pop and i'm gonna take a fluffy brush and kind of deepen this look up a little bit more with the shade extra slice and take it on just a fluffy brush lightly deepen up that outer corner now we're done with the palette <laughs> so let me put a little bit of mascara on and i'm gonna zoom you guys back out and try on the lip bundles i go in with the nude one little one i'm gonna take the little one set first gonna go in with the liner so this is what the lip liner looks like just by itself I'm gonna take the ultra matte lip liquid lipstick. So that is what the lip liner and the ultra matte lippy look like of the shade little one. I do really like this shade, especially with this color. Next, I'm gonna go in with the lip pencil in O oh Snap and the At Me Ultra Matte Lip. So that's what just the O oh Snap lip liner looks like and then here is what the both of them look like i don't think i actually have a shade like this that's this light of a mauvey nude color i feel like all of the mauves that i have are a little bit on the darker side so it's kind of nice to have kind of like a powdery mauve so i'm pretty happy about this one all right now i'm going to take bossy and self love club so this is what the lip liner and bossy looks like by itself and this is what the both of those look like this is a really nice true red color okay so this is everything that was in the collection i did not use a couple of the shimmer shades but hopefully you can kind of see how the shades perform what they look like how they look on my skin swatches so let me know what you think down in the comments below Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.